Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I appreciate everyone who's watching. Uh, for anyone new that finds me, I appreciate you watching my video and my subscribers that are coming back to see more. I really, really appreciate it. Um, today is September the 16th, 2019. Um, this is Floss Tube 15. And I'm going to talk to you tonight mostly about the Sampler September. As anyone who has watched my videos know that I really do love samplers. That's my favorite thing to stitch. I don't have any big samplers finished except for, well, I do have one or two. And I'm getting ready to try to get those framed soon, hopefully. But I just wanted to show you what uh, a little bit of haul, one prize I got. Um, I got uh, some whips, one finish, and... Uh, a lot of samplers that I really, really would love to start in the very near future. Uh, I did, I have started um, three, I think, so far this month for Sampler September. And, uh, but the first part of the month I worked on and uh, finished my brother's sampler, which is a sampler still, you know, semi samplerish. Uh, it's to have under hold by uh, Country Cottage Needleworks that I actually. Uh, Change it around a lot, you know, to suit my brother. But I thought I'd go ahead and show that to you to start with. That's my finish. I have to still get it framed. And, uh, but, let's see. Here it is. I'm really happy with it. I think he's going to love it. I changed, of course, the groom to a, the bride to a groom. All the flowers were supposed to be pinks, and the numbers at the bottom were supposed to be pinks. So I changed all that to blues, and I just got to get that in a frame. The wedding is the 18th of next month, and I'm excited to give this to them. And uh, you know, I asked them if they wanted me to put their names on there, and he never. He said, "Well, we'll let you know," but. So far, he hasn't said, so I'm kind of hoping he doesn't want me to because I'd really like to go ahead and get this frame and get it done. But that's what I've worked on and finished. Okay, uh, before I get into anything else, I'll go ahead and show you what I've gotten to for haul. It's not much. It's uh, some, some sampler threads from uh, Victorian Model. This is a, a specialty collection she had, which <laughs> I had to get this one because it's autumn. Autumn and... Uh, the autumn section. I love the oranges, the greens. I love that brown. I mean, they're all beautiful, beautiful. And uh, and as I'm trying to use more of my own threads instead of buying a lot of threads, it's uh, it's gonna really be helpful. The only problem I have is that you know most of these samplers call for. Um, even gentle arts, or they call for Belsois, or a lot of different, and it's really hard for me to figure out how to switch them out to, to what I have. But um, I'm trying not to order, you know, any fabric. I mean, any any floss or anything else. Now this is from um, Dying for Cross Stitch, and this is 40 count vertical, and. Uh, I used to buy a lot of her fabric. I, I have a hard time because she, she posts really early on Sundays. And I'm not usually up that early because, you know, like I said, we work, my husband works third shift. So we kind of sleep in on Sunday morning so he can, we can stay up all night Sunday night. And, uh, but this is my preferred 40 count right now because it's an even weave. And this is, she doesn't name hers because they're basically, she just, you know, she doesn't like have anything that she can redo. She just does them, dyes them and then puts them up. And this is a real good, this will be a real good neutral. And uh, I really love that. I have another piece of that, but this one is gorgeous. And I don't know what I'm going to put on it yet, but this is, I just, when I saw this, I thought, oh my gosh, I got to have that. There's so many that, you know, that call for a red or that you can put something on it that's, it's got a little bit of modeling in it. But this is another 40 count vertical. And then I got my under the sea fabrics. This is called Hera. 
This is a 32 count gel blue. Really pretty. It's got it's bluish with purples in it. And I'm sure that there's going to be something I can find to stitch out of this. Now, if I'm going to do any other count besides 40 count, 32 is my favorite count. And then, of course, every week, you know, Chelsea and uh, Priscilla and Chelsea always offer something, you know, for, for things for prizes. And I put in a lot of times if it's something I like. And I won a, a few weeks ago. And the one I won was the one I really wanted. And it was the L... Gender 1775 by Brenda Gervais. And this is what it looks like. Definitely right up my alley. I love it. Now, I don't know if I, what I'm going to make it. If I'm going to make it like that. You know, I'm, I've never sewn that much. And I'm really, really wanting to learn how to like make little pillows and do little finishes. Because, you know, I want to make some ornaments for my tree. I have finished a few or, you know, ornaments. But I haven't finished, finished them. If you know what I mean. So that's basically all my haul that I have, and uh, so I'm really happy about that. I'm really trying to cut down. I do have a few sampler threads coming to me um, from 123 Stitch from some patterns that I want to do that I just couldn't really figure out how to switch them out, you know, for what I have. I do have some sampler threads, a lot of sampler threads, but it seems like <laughs> you never have all of them that you need. So I want to show you some of the things that I've started this month for my sampler September. Now this one is called Agnes Otterson 1903. Now uh, this one calls for Belle Suave and um, hmm, I don't know what the other one is. But it's all Dinky Dyes GT, GT. But they're all uh, silks. But this is what it looks like. It's really pretty. I put this on 40 count mallow, which is the, the inexpensive linen that you can get from 123 Stitch. The problem I have with this is, and it looks similar to me to what's on there. It's just a little lighter. Well, the lightness of it, the some of the lettering, like these blues are not called for. It's a, um, the number that it's called for is like uh, 842, which when I put that on there, you, I couldn't even, when I put my first stitch in, I couldn't even see where I put it to cross it. So, I was trying to find different ones, and no matter what color of a, like a beige type I put in, it would just, it just didn't work. So, I thought, well, I'll change those light colored ones to a blue. So, that's what I used for that one. The rest of them, this right here, this pink right here was a real light pink. It's just too light. So, I'm using a Victorian motto there. And this one also is a Victorian motto. This was, uh, it's called, it's supposed to be like a, on the front of it, it looks like a reddish. Of course, you know, it's really modeled on the front, that, that middle border is, which this Victorian model isn't. But it was supposed to be a reddish. And the color it calls for is 3772, which says brick. But to me, it looks brown, and I didn't really like it. So I switched this out for a Victorian motto, and it's more, uh, to me, a more of a brick color. So, I've really enjoyed doing this one so far, and it's not, I don't think it's going to take long because it's not that big of a sampler. So, it's going to be, that's, that's been really fun. So, I really am enjoying that one. And I'm using my Harry Potter Grime Guard. I think I got this from Maggie's Minders and More years, a couple years ago. I've never been uh, using uh, the Grime Guards much, but I've gotten to where I'm really wanting to use them now. I have several, but, you know, most of them are for 8 by 8 which that is. Okay, this is one that I started working on. Uh, this is a sow that's starting October 1st. They sent out the, um, the frame, and it's from Stitchonomy. And I'll try to put the link to the group in, um, in, the, in the box down there. But this is just a frame, and it's, I think she's going to give out like one a day. And because the little pieces to stitch are going to be real small. But this is just the very top. Uh, it's not quite half of it. But this is on a... Um, This is on Fabrics by LJ, and it's called Crushed Walnuts, and this is an Ada, 18 count Ada. This is from uh, Fabric of the Month, September 2017. So I thought that looked really good on there. And that, the color is really, that's what it looks like, so I thought that looked really good. I've been enjoying this. I thought about doing some different colors, and some people are doing it like in like Halloween type colors for the frame. And I wanted, kind of wanted to do that, but I really didn't have anything like that. And I decided I'm not, I'm not ordering it. I'm just going to use what it actually called for black. That's what I'm going to put on there. Now it may say change because it says uh, Halloween or something up there. I'm like, 
put that in a different color, but I'm not. I'm not going to be a bad girl and order lots of stuff. Okay, this one is from Modern Folk Embroidery. I got this one from Sassy Jacks. Uh, they have this box that you can order. And you can get monthly or quarterly or something. I was in it for a few months, which I liked it, but then I had, you know, I had to cut down on what I was spending. So, and this was in one of the boxes. It's called Jack's um, Jack's Stash. And if I can find it, I'll try to put a link in. If not, you can either call Sassy Jacks, and they will let you know how to get in on the on the club. It's, they they sent some really nice things. But this is a pattern by Modern Folk Embroidery. It's called the Deer Sampler. I love their patterns. It came with. This a week's dye work, which is a different kind I've never seen before. I got this one, and it's a uh, two-stranded, and it's on a little, little round thing like that, and it's just two strands, and uh, to stitch it on. So I'm stitching this on a 40 count, and I was gonna stitch it, you know, uh, for some reason I was thinking that they didn't come apart at first, and so I stitched the deer with two strands, which it looks really good. But I think if I try to stitch the whole thing with two strands, I may not have enough thread, and it kind of gets harder to stitch when it's you know when it's bunched up. So I, this one is in one strand. I thought, well, since this is the deer sampler, I will leave the deer stitched with two strands. That way, it stands out more, and that's that's the only deer on the sampler. So if there was another deer or something, I might do it in two. But that's the only one on there, and so the rest of it I'm gonna do it with just one strand, which I think it looks really nice with just one strand. So that is my other one. And uh, I have one more. Let me put this back in there so I don't lose it. One more whip. And this is from Hands Across the Sea. And this is the Harriet Salt 1866 sampler. I ordered uh, the, the pattern actually from, from Nicola at Hands Across the Sea. And then I ordered the thread and uh, I got the thread pattern. Well, maybe I ordered all of it from, uh, what you call it, from, uh, from Sassy Jacks. But I got the thread, which comes with two hanks of uh, Soie Delger. And uh, this is 943, this red. And it comes with a cute little minder. And I ordered this bag from... Mama Joan, this is the bag that she designed to actually go with this sample. So here is there's that, and here is where I am so far. I, I just, and this is like call for fabric, which I think is Wheat Star Works straw. This is 40 count. You can get it in the, uh, the fabric in 40 or 46 count. I'm glad I chose 40 because I've, I've been having a little bit more trouble with it, even with my light doing 40. I do have another light in there that I got. I think the magnifier is a little bit stronger, so I might start using it. But here's the here's the needle minder. It's really cute. And there's where I am so far. I really, really like that. So, so that's all the whips I have. That's all the haul I have. And now I have this basket of samplers that I would like to start. Now, I know I'm not going to get them all started. Oh, 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 excuse me. And this is sampler September. And I really don't want to start them all right now, but these are samplers that I have partially kitted or fully kitted up that I'd really like to start. And uh, I don't know if I've showed this, shown this one to you. This is Prairie House Sampler by Jen, Brenda Gervais. And I, I haven't had this one long but I don't have the uh, fat thread for this, and I do think I want to do this in the call for, I think it calls for weeks, or let me see what it calls for. It calls for gentle arts and classic color works. But I just absolutely love this. The blues, that log cabin, it's really, really cute. So I really want to start that soon. I may not get that started this month because I don't have the stuff for it, so I probably won't start it anytime soon. But this is going to be kind of like a mini, mini sampler parade because I have many, many more samplers. I may do a full-blown sampler parade one day, and I'd really like to, to do that, you know, and show you all the ones I have started. And uh, if y'all are interested in seeing that, let me know, and I'll start working on getting that together. 
But here's one that I found in this magazine. This is actually an older magazine. Cross Stitch and Country Craft from March, April, 1993. And here's a sampler. It's really, that was definitely my style. I love Quakers. And so, and I'm sure this calls for DMC back in the day. And that's what just about everything called for. And I'm sure I got fabric. I can put that on. So I may go ahead and get this one started during Santa September. Here's one that I have, and I have it kitted up. This is uh, Blue AC Blue Bluebird Quaker. This is from Sassy Jack. Sassy Jacks. This is one of theirs from Sassy Press Samplers that they put out. And uh, if you can either do it in silk or in gentle arts. And I chose the Gentle Arts. I think I have all the thread that goes with it. Excuse me. But here's the thread. I, it may have, I may be waiting on more because I know there's a few, then I'm waiting on a few threads. I decided to put it on this 40 count color and cotton and it's called uh, Parchment. And here is the sampler. I think they did this as a stitch along last year or the year before. But see, it's like right here, even on this one, right here, this thread is so light you really can't even see it on there. There's several of them like that, and I, I don't really like that, so I may end up changing some of the colors out, even though this is a reproduction, I think. Yeah, it's a reproduction. But You know, even though it's a reproduction, I don't feel like I have to stay completely true to what they did. I want to make it where it's something I like because it's going to hang on my wall eventually, hopefully one day. And uh, so I will see as, as I start stitching it how I want to do with that. I may pick different threads for those black color ones. Here's another one. This is uh, Martha Davis 1830. I have the fabric which I'm going to use um, Here's the, here's the pattern. This calls for classic color works. Has a DMC conversion. I can't remember whether I ordered fabric for this or if I decided to uh, just do the DMC conversion. This is another dying for cross stitch. This is 32 count. And there's what it looks like. I think it looks a little similar. Of course, you know, it's hard to say because, you know, the pictures never do it, you know, never look like yeah, now here's a picture of the actual sampler. So, we shall see what happens there. I do want to do this one, though. I really like it. I hate to take the time to put all this back in there, but if I don't, it'll, I'll get this stuff mixed up, and then I'll never remember where everything goes. So... Because you know how it is, you get a certain age, or even when you're young, it's still the same thing. You still don't remember if you have a lot of stuff. Here is another Hands Across the Sea sampler that I bought. This is in a Mama Joan bag. I love, love, love that fabric. I have all the fa I have all the thread for it. When I went to Arkansas, I bought the the thread, uh, and I didn't buy the thread pack. I ordered it later, but I, uh, I bought the fabric for it. This is the call for it's a uh, wild honey 37 count. Uh oh, <laughs> beautiful. Oh, I don't know if this goes with it or if it's one I bought. I don't think it does because I think it just calls for the. This is the 103. I think this is one I got to uh, to try out because I never tried this thread out. And it's this is Elizabeth Weston. Now I saw someone's. Uh, uh, it was Fat Cat Flossing was showing hers, and she was showing, and the vine looks really brown on, on her, that she's doing. It looks more green on this one. When I get, when I start looking at it, I'm going to look at my thread, and if, I may change that to a different color, but I, I, to make it greener. We shall see when I, when I start stitching that. So this is one I really love, the pinks, I just really love that. Okay, that one's. That one's totally ready to go. And this is one I bought uh, last year. I, this is from um, Heartstring Sampler. This is a small one. This is a Christmas sampler. 
It's called, it must have been the mistletoe. It calls just, it's just a one color sampler. Here's a thread it calls for. I don't have fabric in there yet, but I know I've got fabric that'll, that'll work. So I really want to get that started. That'd be really cute. And pretty soon I'm gonna be really wanting to Christmas, you know, stitch some Christmas stuff. I do have a lot of, uh, several things I wanna start next month, but I will do another separate video for my Halloween stitching. Okay, this is one that I bought recently. This is why I'm definitely, I'm waiting on just one thread or two threads for this one. I definitely wanted this one to call for. This is, you know, that fairly new to me designer and I had, you know, I've got several of her, a couple of her patterns out. And this is uh, the blue flower. Every time I see a new one, I want to buy it, but I'm trying to hold off because I've got enough to stitch for right now. And this is called The Color of Winter. And I'm going to do it on Vanilla by Color and Cotton 40 Count. Beautiful. I love that. I like the new one. Uh... But that they've been that I've seen several people talk about um, something about the moon. Can't remember what the exact name of it is, but I'm sure a lot of you know what I'm talking about. So that one's just about ready. I got like I said a couple of pieces of a couple of skeins of floss that goes with that. I really want to do this one. This is the Scarlet House. I mean, this is from the Scarlet House. It's called the Smith Sampler. I doubt if I get this started anytime soon because I don't have any thread or any fabric with this. It calls for uh, Belle Swan, Dinky Dyes, and Gloriana. It does have a DMC conversion, which I can take my, my book and look at those and you know, decide if I've got any fabric, any thread that I can uh, switch out. I'm, I'm not going to buy all those. Gloriana, I, all these are so expensive. I'm just... Mm -mm. I'm not going to do that right now. Here's another one that I really love. I have the fabric ready. Almost all these, all these, I just about have all the fabric in there because I went through my fabric stash and picked out what I thought would work for it. This is uh, Petronella Arm Armand's 1834 by Needlework Press. This calls for um, Gloriana Tudor Silk, which no, nope, nope, nope. But it does have a DMC conversion. I'm gonna work with that and see, like I said, what I can do to get to get some, uh, maybe you know, do some of my other fancy floss that I've got. This I've got. I'm gonna use 40 count stars hollow blend by R and R Reproductions. That's what I've got for that. Bought this piece a while back. Didn't know what I was gonna use it for, and I think it's gonna be perfect for that. I really like needlework press designs. They're really pretty. And I have so many more I really want to start. It's just, oh my gosh, I just don't know what to do with myself. Here's this one. It's called The Little little Red Bird. And it's by Lottie Da. It calls for um, mulberry. I guess the sampler threads. Just a sampler. And then mulberry. And then the DMZ, then the DMC conversion, which I have some plenty of pretty reds I'm gonna, that I can use for. There it is right there. And here's my fabric. It is 32 count Rin Belfast linen. So this one may be a start this month because it's small. And I'm sure, I, like I said, I have plenty of reds. I have a lot of reds because that's one of my favorite colors. I love reds, and now I'm getting where I'm really like obsessed with blue. I can blame uh, I can blame that on Darling Blue Bell. <laughs> this is uh, the Jane Stanwick 1843 English reproduction reproduction sampler. It calls for NPIs, which that's something. No, I'm not going to do that. It's got a DMC conversion, so uh, like I said, I'll check that out. There's what it looks like. And I decided on Dixie Sampler 40 count. Aged goldenrod. And here's what that looks like. Well, that's really, that's not really showing up right, so I'm going to take it out a little baggy. 
it's a little maybe a little darker than it shows but it's kind of hard to get things to show just right sometimes I don't have not I'm not a professional video videographer but yeah Dixie sampler had a sale I think it was yesterday <laughs> and I looked at her I looked at them and I I wanted to get some, but no, I decided I'm not going to. I'm trying to be strong, strong, strong. This is what I've had for a long time, and I was watching um, Timothy on Facebook. What is his last name? But You know, the one that's a flight attendant, and uh, he does a lot of stuff on black. So, I did order me a piece of black. It's 18 count, though, so you know, I'm not going to try to do any kind of linen or even weave. And uh, there's that. It calls for dicky dyes. I do have a bunch of dicky dyes, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go try to match up the colors with what I have. This is just the cross stitch version. It's Twisted Rainbow Sampler. So I want, I'd love to get that going. So it's in the wings. It's waiting in the wings. I'm kind of curious if I can do. That on black. I might sure I got 14, uh, 16 count, but oh well. I usually can do 18 pretty good. Here's one that I decided to start because uh, Fat Cat Flossing is doing a Praiseworthy Stitches sale. And uh, Christmas won't be long in the distance, so I decided I want to start Simple Gifts Christmas. This calls for weeks dye works. Six skeins of moss, two skeins of Indian summer, and two skeins of whiskey. Now, I don't know that I, if I have any of those. If I do, I might use them. If I don't, I'll figure something out. Okay. This one is... Sarah Dean, 1860. From Heart of Hexham. The fabric I've got is a 32 count. I don't I'm not sure where I got this. Let me see if there's a there's no tag on it, but it's a 32 count. It's some kind of hand dyed. I wish I knew what that was. I don't have a tag on it. Might be something I've had in my stash for a long time and I just don't know what it is. So that one kind of is a bummer. I like like I said, I like, I like to know the fabric so I can write it down and keep up with what I'm what's what. This one is the Marie Davis, Maria Davis 1823 by Needlework Press. This one just calls for weeks dot works, and they do have a DMC conversion. I'm going to do this on 40 count birch Newcastle linen. That is going to be lovely. I need to get some of these done and framed and stuff because I got a lot of wall space. My husband keeps trying to find stuff to put up there and. I'm saying, give me time, give me time, but <laughs> that may have be more, maybe about, you know, I keep looking at the wrong spot, and I'm sorry about that, but it's hard not to look at yourself when you're stitching. What is this one? I don't this one's a Christmas, I think this is a Christmas pattern, not a sample. This, yeah. That's not in my sampler September. <laughs> Here's one, this is an older sampler, and it's called the Cinnamon House Sampler by Vintage Needleworks Presents, designed by Connie Myers. I've had this for a long time, and it's one of those that there's no break in the, in the middle, where so you got to be careful about folding it. This is, this is another one I'm going to do on a Dixie sampler. This is a... Uh, 40 count is called frankincense. So. 
I want it, and it calls for DMC, so. Like I said, these older ones, that's about all you, you know, the most of them did call for DMC. I wonder if it has a year on here. 1990. So that's about 30 years old, just about. Makes me feel really old. Here's the one I got uh, where you buy the pattern or you buy the fab uh, the, you buy the floss and you got the pattern for free. It has mistletoe, hollyberry, and gingerbread. These three fat, uh, threads and then the name of the pattern is Roses Are Red and this is my Little House Needleworks. And this is, uh, looks like some kind of 40 count. <laughs> I don't know what it is. And of course it's not written down anywhere on this thing. That's perfect. But it feels good to be going through my fabric and putting them in with charts, you know, so that it's just not sitting in a drawer and me not, you know, trying to even use it or figure out what to do with it buy all this fabric and then don't even use it. Uh-oh. I don't know what went in here. But I just really found a land down there, so I better figure it out. This is C Street, C Street Sampler Works Quaker Medallion Sampler. I think this is kind of an older one, too. And this one, I think, does call for DMC. This is a 2000, then a 2010. And yes, it calls for DMC. Here's the pattern. And the fabric I got is 32 count taupe Lugana fabric. What is this one go to? It's got some fab. It's got some uh, thread in here. Some weak style works. I got three skeins of weak style works in here, and I don't know where it goes. Oh well. Here is the Black Raven Quaker, and this is by Weinberg. I bought this. This came out at uh, market this year. All hers call for DMC, which I really appreciate. Now, I'm sure you could, you know, um, switch it to a different, um, you know, like some fancy floss. And I may switch some out, but this is what it looks like. The Black Raven. And I've got color and cotton, 40 count toasted coconut. I've always done hers on Ada. Well, no, actually I've done most of hers on like a even weave, a 32 count or 28 count. That was always my major, you know, when I first started stitching, of course, and went and moved to even weave, um, I mostly stitched on 28 count. Okay, and here is... Jardin Privé Quakers a la something. And this one is it's a small one, so I thought, you know, maybe it's nice to do some small ones. On 40 count. I think this is 32 count. Uh, this looks like 32 count Queen Anne's Lace. And here's what it looks like. It calls for... Um, DMC. Two different colors of DMC. So that is perfect. You know, I really like using fancy floss, but you know, if you like to stitch a lot of different things and you know, it, it, it just is hard on the budget to have, you know, especially things like Gloriana, Needle, needle Point Ink, uh, what's that other one? Uh, Silk and colors, they're also so expensive. 
I understand why, but it still doesn't make it easier to buy. It's easy to buy. This is um, Sarah Platt 1811 by Pine Berry Lane. Uh, I think I've got the, yeah, I've got all the thread for it. It calls for weeks and gentle arts. One week's and the rest of it's gentle arts. And I've got 40 count Legacy Newcastle Linen. Shouldn't be uh, too bad, I don't think. I tell you, I've had a heck of a time this year with my allergies. I was going to try to do more, you know, like a vlog time, a style, you know. And I did do one, but I didn't never upload it, or you know, a couple of weeks ago. But, I don't know. We'll see what happens. And here is, of course, Merrily, 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 We Welcome Spring. And here's the pattern. And I'm sure you all, a lot of you have already stitched this. I've got all the call for threads. It calls for oaken fabric, but I bought uh, vintage country mocha. Um, well, it's just country mocha because it's 40 count. They don't have vintage country mocha in 40 count, I don't think. But I got all the thread. I got all the, now I got the fabric. It's ready to go. Just going to get myself some gumption to get started. I'd like to get that uh, frame done for that stitch along because she's going to start, start the first. And I still have my son's girlfriend's uh, birth sampler I need to finish, so... Always something. And here is one I really like. It's by Maura Blackburn. It's called Friends House Sampler. These always call for DMC. I don't know whether I'll, I'll uh, switch it out of any or not or just use the DMC. But uh, here's what it looks like. And... Uh, Here's the fabric I'm going to do it on. It's under the C fabrics and it's called Rosmarta. It's really pretty. This is 32 count. It's a 32 count Jovelin. But you know, I really think I like Lugana better, but this is really nice. I like something that's got a little bit more. I don't like something that's really squishy. It's like um, most Adis that's hand dyed. Like the picture of this plus, or even the dye for cross stitch, and uh, or the well, not dye for cross stitch is bad, but the uh, fabrics by LJ, uh, they're so squishy and soft that sometimes it's hard to find the holes, and it's easy to to miss the holes. And even on, I mean, it's not that you can't see them; you can see, you know, it's just that this, I don't know, it's, it's kind of odd. It's just, it's just too soft for me. I mean, I love the colors. And everything, and I know it's something to do with the dyeing process, but I just don't like the way it feels and the way it's, you know, hard. It's hard to stitch up. But I still use them because I really like them, and I bought them, so I'm going to use them. This is a Debbie da Draper designs. So she was a designer from back in the 80s, I do believe. Well, 2005 is when this was copyrighted. She died a few years ago. I'm not sure how long it's been. I've got two or three of hers. This one is Floral Fantasy. And I bought this, and it actually came with the, uh, I'm sorry, I don't mean to. This has got hand-dyed fibers by uh, Biggie Clayton in it. It came with it when I bought it. This is what the thread looks like. And I'm going to use Dixie Sampler Miss Swiss 40 Count. It's kind of a milk chocolate type. That looks grayer. It's actually a little bit more brown. Looking than that, that's kind of hard to, you know, see the true color of it, but that's, that's what I'm going to do that one on. And I have another one of her started that, um, that I'm going to do, that I started, it was started on Ada, it was called, hmm, Garden, something Garden. Might have been, uh, Autumn Garden or something like that, I'm not really sure, but I've got it in my whips. And my mini, 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 mini whips. 
which I did a whip parade when I first started on my videos, and uh, I may do another one toward the end of the year or the beginning of next year. Because I do have a lot more. This is the very last one in this basket. This is Tree of Life Samplings, the Brick House Sampler, 1831 Brick House Sampler. And I have everything ready for it. It calls for Classic Color Works, which I ordered when I bought the pattern. And it calls, and I got uh, 40 count light mocha Newcastle linen. That's the fabric I'm putting on. And here is the fabric. I mean, the pattern. <laughs> so. That is my desired samplers. Now I have a few more that I really want. I mean, no, I mean, let's get real. <laughs> I have many more that I want to start. And uh, I, uh, I know that I can't start everything, but once I get them started, to me, I getting them, getting everything kitted up and getting it started is the hardest part. I mean. Once I get them started, then I can, if I decide I want to work on it, it's no big deal. Just go in there and get it, and then I can start from where I left off. Even if I just get a few stitches in, I know where to go. And I like that. I really do. And I know a lot of people get all uh, crazy. And I mean, well, they don't get crazy, but that makes them crazy to have that many samplers or that many uh, whips. I know I have well over 100 whips right now. And... Uh, I haven't finished that much this year. Like I said, I had three months. I didn't stitch at all. And, um, you know, it's just one of them things. So, you know, I like stitching. I don't, I mean, I do love having finishes. Don't get me wrong. I have some that are like uh, ornaments. I've been doing a few ornaments. And I'm going to do some more. I want to start a few more ornaments. And uh, then figure out how to, how to finish them up. That is my problem, finishing them up. So, I want to um, show you more of my samplers that I have. I know I've probably shown you a lot in the last few months that I have bought, but um, I might go through my whip basket and get out all the ones that I have that are samplers and then go through all my patterns, which I have a lot of patterns. I have a two file drawers full of patterns. I have them, I have them uh, in folders alphabetically, alphabetically, alphabetically according to the designer. To me, that's the easiest way to find it, just like my DMC is in my big box in numerical order. So, you know, uh, some people like to do it by color, or some people I like to organize their uh, patterns by um, subject, but to me, I, you know, I'd rather have it done by designer and by number. That way, it's easy for me to find. It's like, you know, my husband says, you know, tells me, like when we, someone gives you directions. And they say, well, you go to the third stoplight and turn left and then go down three roads on the right and turn right. No, don't, don't tell me. Don't, don't give me directions like that. Tell me to go to this road name. Say, so you, say so you go down like a half a mile or a mile or to the third stoplight, that road is so-and-so. Turn there. And then go down three, if you want to say three roads, that road is so-and-so turn there. I want to know the road name. It's like when you're going on the highway, if you're using GPS, it says get off on exit number 45 or whatever, you know, and I like that. I want to know the exact road name, the exit number. To me, it makes it so much more, so much simpler to know for sure that you're, you're, it's easy to find on my, on my stuff and it's easy to find when you're going somewhere. So, but uh, that's basically what I have today. I'm going to try to um, to get this uploaded. I may actually go in there and take a picture or do a little small video of just my file folders to show you what I'm talking about when I'm talking about my uh, how I have mine organized, my patterns. So there's still some I don't have in there, and uh, but most of them are in there. I do have a few that I haven't got in there yet. Um, but... I might do that and add that on to the end of this video. So, uh, I like I said, I appreciate everybody watching me. And if I ever get to uh, a thousand subscribers, maybe even I might do something, some kind of giveaway when I get to 800 subscribers. And since, like I said, I live in a smoker household, maybe it'll be a, a gift card for uh, for one, two, three stitch or something. You know, that way, uh, you know, you don't have to take something that's that you may not like because of, you know, 
being in a home where there's smoking going on. But anyway, I appreciate, like I said, everybody watching me. And uh, tell your friends. I uh, haven't been getting many new subscribers as of late. But, uh, you know, I may not be everybody's, I'm sure I'm not everybody's cup of tea. And, <laughs> but uh, I will talk to you again, uh, hopefully soon. All right, bye-bye. Okay, here is one of my drawers. This starts with the A's. Goes to the L's. I left a little bit of room so that I have more room to put more in that drawer. And here's the other, and here's the other drawer that goes from the L's to the, well, probably W's because why ain't we in Burger put my last one? But that's my second drawer. Here is. Uh, a third drawer with just odds and ends right now. I haven't got them labeled or separated. So while I'm at it, I'm going to show you those two, three bins on the bottom are whips. They're big bins. I don't know if you can tell how big they are or not, but that one on top, uh, hmm. Let's see the whips are either kitted up projects. And then over there, these are just, uh, the craft boxes there just have odds and ends, like dual tools and stuff. That's a uh, odd chronic and stuff in the top. That's a, that's a box with just uh, odds, odd fabrics that I don't have separated. And the bottom, that's a bunch of thread that I haven't got to organized yet. Here is my thread organization as of today so far that's my Victorian motto my DMC color and cotton carries creation the big bin is several different designers and I still have more to to do but it's a work in progress this bin right here you can see behind my iron board there that's thread I mean fabric and have another one over here on that side of my iron board it's more fabric and you see I have thread and stuff I've got a mess in here but I'm getting there it's a slow but sure process so anyway I want to show you what how my craft room is looking oh I did get something that I forgot to show you in my other part of my video uh, this is a Garon, Garon toting bag I got I just got this this week I'm going to use that everything next month for my uh, dark October stitching. I saw it and I just couldn't resist it. I should have resisted it, but I did not. So, <laughs> anyway, that's my stuff. This is my ironing board. I got a lot of, this is where I was kidding up my projects for my sampler. Which I still have more to do, but and then more things to put away. But... I like it like this. Well, I don't like it messy like this, but I like having all my stuff available where I can see what I need. So, anyway. Alrighty then, that's it for today. I will talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.